Hi, Mary. It wasn't that long ago that we were talking about an Amazon tax or a head tax that morphed into what is called the Jumpstart tax, a payroll tax on big businesses that was earmarked to be used for homelessness housing in the Green New Deal that the mayor now wants to lean on to fill a gaping budget gap. Once upon a time, it was the most divisive issue in Seattle, a question about whether Amazon and others should pay more for their success in the form of a payroll tax to fund homelessness and housing services. But now Seattle's mayor wants to redirect those funds. This reconfiguration also allows us to close the deficit. Bruce Harrell says the 2020 law that created the jumpstart tax on big business can close a $250 million shortfall because Amazon and others have weathered the pandemic storm and tax collections are up, way up, more than previous projections. And he says it would avoid double digit percentage layoffs in city departments, plus fund basic public safety and city services. Why do you think the jumpstart tax has exceeded expectations according to the budget office, given that there's been a lot of talk in this city about returning to work and not enough people downtown and not enough business downtown? Well, the fact is this is a tech town and that's where the revenue is coming from. Seattle Council President Sarah Nelson will now review the proposal. This is not what it was intended for. Is, is this a bait and switch? This is a new council and we've got new priorities and we're under a different economic scenario here. So we've got to make hard choices. Is this something that can, can continue in perpetuity, the leaning on the business community to fill a, a budget shortfall like this? I do agree that we are first duty is to make sure that we're spending money in the right way. The redirection will now be re-scrutinized. The Seattle Metropolitan Chamber of Commerce opposed this tax when it was approved back in 2020. In fact, sued to stop it from being implemented, but today issued a statement saying that they believe Harrell's proposal, quote, aligns with what voters want and balances a budget without raising taxes. This is a budget proposal now that will be scrutinized to the very line item by the council, but the council needs to approve it by the end of this year. That's the story for now, live outside City Council Chambers in Seattle. I'm Chris Daniels, Como News.